Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, early this morning, we had heavy rain in parts of the state. The sky cleared. We had gusty winds, but you know what? It turned out to be a beautiful day, feeling more like autumn again with the dry air moving in. In Hartford, all you could see, uh, looking at the state capitol building, a few clouds drifting by this afternoon, and the winds were gusty, but it uh, overall was uh, pretty nice. Now, the shadows are getting long in Torrington. Sunset is at 614 this evening, but it's looking good in the northwestern part of the state and also looking good in New Haven, where we have a mainly clear sky right now. So for all the Friday night football games, we're looking good. Early morning pinpoint Doppler is scanning the state. Dry and temperatures are mostly in the 50s. Inland, we have mid 50s in the Litchfield Hills, 59 in Hartford, but you get into uh, coastal areas. And in eastern Connecticut, the temperature is 60 degrees or higher. And we have dew points that are now in the 30s and low 40s, which means that the air is very, very dry. And we also have a brisk wind out of the northwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour in some spots, but that will rapidly diminish as the uh, sun goes on. So it goes down, I should say. So that's good news there. Now off to our north and west, the air is even cooler. In fact, to get out into a Bingham to New York, it's 46 and Syracuse is 48 degrees. So the cool air is coming in and I'll tell you the next seven days are looking uh, mighty cool overall. So Michael moving out to sea rapidly, but we got this other system off to our west that's causing rain in Indiana and in Illinois and some parts of those uh, states you do see a little bit of blue there, which could be a little wet snow mixing in. So Futurecast shows that we'll have a mainly clear sky at seven o'clock this evening. After midnight, the clouds move in and at seven o'clock in the morning, there will be scattered showers in the state. I think there will be a threat of showers right up till around midday. So those Futurecast stopped at one o'clock in the afternoon and then the sky kind of clears out in the afternoon. Partly sunny and breezy as we go through tomorrow night. It's going to be clear and chilly. Temperatures in the outlying areas will dip into the 30s. Now, some of the colder spots could have a touch of frost to late tomorrow night, but I don't think we'll have a widespread frost. And then Sunday, partly to mostly sunny skies with high pressure in place, it's going to turn out to be a very nice day. So lows tonight are going to range anywhere from the upper 30s to the low and mid 40s in many parts of the state with the sky becoming mostly cloudy after midnight and your highs for tomorrow. But once we get the sun coming out in the afternoon, should be in the mid 50s inland to the upper 50s along the shoreline. So here's your seven day forecast and we'll dip into the 30s tomorrow night, Sunday, partly to mostly sunny and 62. Some showers move in on Monday, perhaps even a few periods of rain, a high of 62, but most of next week looks good. I don't see any big heavy rainstorms. Tuesday cool, 58, 60 degrees on Wednesday. Thursday could be windy and chilly, 51, and then we might have a better chance at a widespread frost Thursday night with a low of 32. Friday looks great with a high of 57. Now for the shoreline this weekend, 58 degrees tomorrow and a high of 63 degrees on Sunday. 